my name is Jamie. I just rolled out of bed, as you can see by this bed head, and I headed down to the lake. I am on beautiful Pine Lake in Rhinelander, Wisconsin, and today I'm gonna to be doing a little dock yoga flow for you. So grab your mat, grab your coffee, and let's do a little morning flow together. Meet you on the dock. Ooh, baby, ooh. Starting today in seated position, close your eyes and begin to notice your breath. Relax. Settle in. Fill up your lungs with fresh oxygen. Let it fill up your body. Exhale. Release what is not needed. Shoulders roll down and back. And hands to heart. Inhale, arms sweep up. Hands touch overhead. Exhale, pushing them through down to center at your heart. Again, inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, push through to the heart. A couple more. Let's reverse that. Inhale, look up, press your palms together. Exhale, release. Back to center, inhale. Exhale, let that go. Couple more. And inhale. Hands on either side of you. On your next inhale, sweep your right arm over your head. Look to the sky. Continue taking deep breaths and switch sides, left over the top. And meet me back in center. Both hands underneath our chin, placing one hand on top of the other fist. Elbows together, slightly push your chin up, feel the stretch behind your neck, breathe here. Release your hands, look down, release the tension behind your neck. Grabbing our right knee and right foot and rocking it like a baby. Waking up that hip. And drop that one down. Take your other foot, other knee, and shake that out. Let's scoot ourselves onto our mat. We're moving the flesh from our sit bones. Spine is straight, feet are flexed. Inhale, arms sweep up once again. Exhale, release your hands, possibly bend your knees, reach forward, forward bend. Inhale, arms back up. This time, exhale, placing our hands behind us and lifting our bottom up into a reverse plank. Breathe. 
Feel the shake. Release your bottom down. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale right away into that forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms back. Good lift. Possibly look up or look back. Beautiful morning. Release down one more time. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, over. Coming back to a straight spine, let's open our legs up a little bit more. Maybe each heel on the edge of our mat. We're going to lean forward from our chest, leading flat, trying to grab our big toe. Flat back. Feel a deeper stretch behind the leg. And then to relax, release your head. Go a little deeper. Swinging your left leg back, right leg forward, trying to square that off into a pigeon. Breathe here. Coming down onto our forearms, creating a little pillow with our hands and resting our forehead down. Take some time to relax and release any tension or pain in that hip. Coming up on your fingertips, taking your left arm, reaching back towards your left leg. And if you'd like to try, maybe grab for that foot. Maybe put it in between that little kickstand of your elbow. Straight spine. Maybe trying to hook it with your hands too. Deep breath. And release that leg back down. Swing the left in front, right goes back, pigeon the side. Find your spot. And when you're ready, release down on the side. Prop yourself up with your hands. Reach back with your right hand, looking back towards the right foot, possibly grabbing that foot or hooking it. Looking over the beautiful morning lake, beautiful mirror. Hook it if you can, I'm a little tighter on this side. This is good for me today. Relax that leg back down. Both knees come back. Set yourself up for a tabletop position. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And when you're ready, inhale. Look up. Tail shoots back into a cow. Exhale, curve your spine. Cat. Couple rounds of this with your own breath. Inhale, look up. And exhale, curve your spine. Mm. 
meet me back in neutral. Let's take the cat and cow for a little walk, a little circle around for our hips. Just be playful on the water. Fluid. Breathe. Maybe going in both directions, stopping where you might need a little more stretch. Coming back to all fours. On the inhale, right arm raises to the sky. And exhale, thread the needle through. Drop your cheek and shoulder down to the ground. Right palm up. Feel the stretch. Inhale, unravel the arm, reach it back up to the sky, and place it down onto the mat. Inhale, left arm extends this time. And on your exhale, thread the needle through. Place your cheek down. And relax. Inhale, arm sweeps back up, and exhale, place it down beside you. Flip your toes behind, and slowly meet me in our first downward dog. Bend your knees, pedal out your feet. This is such an amazing view, upside down, because the lake is a mirror, and the trees are reflecting off the water, so it's a perfect mirror image. Super cool. Pedal out your feet. Find some stillness, pushing the energy down through your heels, chest, trying to stretch more towards your legs. Drop your knees down back to that all fours. And let's just hover off the ground one inch, hold here. And exhale, stretching back into downward dog. A couple rounds of this. Bring your knees down onto the ground for one second. And then you're lifting up, pushing through your hands, pushing away from the mat, from the dock. And exhale, push back. Bend your knees, look towards the top of your mat. As you exhale, step through your hands and come into our first forward fold. Let your head hang heavy. Take some deep breaths. Interlock your hands to your elbows and rock side to side and ragdoll. Exhale, release your hands down. And on your next exhale, slowly roll yourself up into a standing position. Inhale, arms overhead. And hands come back to heart center. Adjust yourself, meet me at the top of your mat for a little flow, a little lake flow. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Back is straight. Exhale, release your hands. Place them firmly onto the ground. Legs shoot back, plank position. Hold here. Twisting ourselves to the side into a side plank. Maybe your knee is down for more leverage. Maybe both legs are out. Hand over head, maybe look up. Hold here, nice and strong. Bring that left arm back down. Push yourself back into downward facing dog.
left foot comes in between the legs, right knee comes down. Meet me at heart center, squaring off our hips, looking to the side. Exhale, taking your right elbow, hooking it on your left knee for a twist. Push your palms together, look back over your left. Hands come back to frame the top foot. And on your exhale, push yourself back into half splits, left Leg is extended, chest is out, and fold over. Roll back onto that top foot, come back into the plank position, and go through our vinyasa. So we exhale, lower down to the mat, Inhale, come up into a cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, push yourself back, downward dog. Bend your knees, look to the top. Exhale, step to jump or hop through. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. And inhale, arms sweep up, hands to heart. Other side, right leg. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, release. Halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, place your hands, plank position. Instead of going down for a vinyasa, we go to the plank on this side, the side plank, lift. Circle back around, exhale, push yourself, downward dog. This time, right leg steps through, left one, carefully down to the mat, meet me, prayer position. And exhale, take your left elbow, hook it onto the right knee, look back and twist. Hands come to the mat, pushing your bottom back into half splits, right side. Rolling onto that top foot, pushing yourself back, high plank. Go through your flow, exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down with down. Bend your knees, exhale, jump through, inhale, flat back, exhale, release, and inhale, grab some air, hands to the heart. Let's do that again a little faster on each side. We can do it. It's a beautiful morning. Getting energized for the day ahead. The feeling power of water all around us, just feel it. Let's just flow side to side just a little bit. Take some deep breaths. And settle in. Here we go. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back, plank. Right away. Side plank, exhale, down. Pushing yourself back into downward dog. Take a full breath. And left knee comes through. Drop the back knee, hands to heart. Continue to breathe, inhale here. Exhale, twist. Full breath. 
Inhale, frame your foot. And exhale, push it back. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step to the center. Halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale, release. And inhale, salute the sun. Exhale, hands to heart center. Right side, inhale up. Exhale, release. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, plant your hands. Step back, plank position. To the side, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, plank. And exhale, downward dog. Right knee comes through, places down. Left. Secured and back, hands to heart, inhale. Exhale, twist. Full breath. Inhale, frame the foot. Exhale, scoop back. Roll forward, inhale, place the hands. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Exhale, step through. Inhale, up. And exhale, down. Hands raise up and hands to heart. We kind of skipped the vinyasa flow there, but that's okay, it made it a little more easier. So let's come down to the mat into a boat position. Since we're on the water, we have to do it. So let's just start by lifting um, our toes off the mat, maybe one little inch. Back is straight, chest is out, tummy's in. And then if you'd like to try, maybe lift it off one more inch. And maybe your feet can come up a little higher parallel. Maybe try releasing your hands and balancing. Boat pose. Release your feet to the mat. Soles of your feet come together, bringing them closer to your body for a cobbler's pose. Back is straight. Maybe press your elbows into your knees for a deeper stretch. Once again, scoot your knees around, coming up into a kneeling position. Our legs, our knees are hip distance apart. We're gonna be doing a little camel series or back bend series. So let's flip our toes behind us to, to secure us a little more. Gotta get my knees on the right planks here. What we're gonna do is first put our hands on the small of our back, Shine our chest forward, arch back into our first camel variation. Take some deep breaths. And come back to a straight spine. Next, you want to grab your left foot with your left hand, reach up your right for a half camel. Breathe. Using your core strength, coming up to a neutral spine. Other side, reaching back for our right foot with our right hand. Left arm extends. Again, pushing yourself back up. The hardest part is getting back up. And if you'd like to try, carefully placing both hands back for the full camel, releasing your neck, pushing your hips out.
and carefully come back up. Let's do the counter pose rabbit. So we put our knees together, place the top of our head onto the mat and roll that skull and neck out, rolling onto our feet, back and forth. And coming back around. Making our way to a flat back. Feeling the morning dew on the dock. A nice crisp feeling in the air. Knees rock side to side. And come back to center. Let's do a little um, shoulder stand. So we bring our legs up to the sky, placing our hands underneath us, elbows like a little kickstand. Way up. I wonder if my blue leggings look like part of the sky. Maybe coming over, bending your knees, plow position. legs back up to the top. Gradually tuck yourself in, rolling yourself down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Legs go long, hands go overhead. One straight line of energy, breathe here. Grabbing our toes, knees go out, happy baby. Rocking side to side. Release the feet down. Find your final relaxation pose. Let all your worries float away. When you're ready, wiggle your fingers and toes. Hands go back overhead like you're waking up in the morning. <laughs> it's still very early here. But yoga helps you wake up, gets you prepared for the day ahead, puts you in a better mind space. Roll yourself to one side, push yourself up. Meet me as we began in cross position. Hands at the heart, on the knees. Around the heart, on the knees, anywhere. Taking time to be grateful for Mother Nature and clean, accessible water here in the North Woods of Wisconsin. So lucky to be able to enjoy these waters and swim and fish and go boating. A lot of people don't have the opportunity to experience something this, this natural and this perfect, this calm. Thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you have enjoyed this Dak Sunrise Yoga. If you haven't already done so, please press like or subscribe and comment. I would love to continue doing more videos like this for you in the future. Until then, I hope you have a wonderful day and a beautiful summer. And you too can find some water. 
hands in prayer position, we end by saying Namaste. I got my ooze in my pocket. I got my ooze in my pocket. I'm gonna take them out. I'm gonna take them out and say, ooh, baby, ooh.